Hi, this is Jason with WP GraphQL, and today I want to walk through a bug with uh, conflict between WP GraphQL and a popular plugin called Post Type Order. Uh, I want to show what the bug is and how you can fix it uh, to use the two plugins together. So let's dive in. So what I'm looking at here, uh, I got a report that Post Type Order was not working uh, with paginated queries in WP GraphQL. So I want to walk through how paginated queries work first. And then we'll look at the bug when you activate post type order. And then we'll look at the solution. So what what I have here, I'm I have some posts here and I'm looking at publish posts in this eco print category. So if we filter by this we see seven items here. And in GraphQL I have a query written already uh, where I'm querying a category, the category eco print, uh, identified by the slug. Uh, we're asking for the name and the slug of that category and then we're getting posts within that category uh, and we have some variables here for pagination we have our first last after and before variables and then we ask for the page info uh, whether there's more pages of of this data and then the edges the node and then we ask for the database ID and the title uh, of each uh, post and then the cursor and so the cursor is used for pagination so if we execute this we'll see here we have seven uh, seven items here so if we ask for seven items here if I ask for the first seven items we will get uh, in the response we will get seven items back uh, sorry I have it collapsed we'll get seven items back and we will see has next page is false that means we're at the end of the list if we ask for less than seven like let's say five uh, and execute that again has next page is true and if we look at the results we have we should have the first five items from this list so it should be notice camouflage impression botanical wool and gum and here we have notice camouflage impression botanical and wool and gum so we got the first five that we expect and the way uh, pagination works we can ask for the next page by specifying after so we take the end cursor which is the last item in the list and we put it in the after value here and the expectation is that we should get the next set which would be items six and seven so harvesting in herbario herbario sorry this is in spanish i don't speak spanish <laughs> but you, you get you get the gist so we get item six and item seven so this is working the way we expect so now if we go into our plugins we have a plugin called post types order uh, very popular plugin um, I've used it in the past on many uh, many sites so with that we have this new tab called reorder and now we can reorder these things however we want so let's say I want wool and gum and the camouflage ones to be my top two great uh, update that if I come back to posts we'll see wool and gum and camouflage are my top two now if I go back and do the query I'm gonna reset this value to null uh, so I'm gonna do the same query I'm gonna ask for the first five items if we query this we should get wool and gum camouflage okay wool and gum camouflage notas notas impression impression botanical botanical okay our first five are great now now the problem and it says there is a next page so we should be able to take this end cursor put it in the after value here and we should get we should get uh, oop, let me go back uh, published and filter by eco let me make sure I got this set up right so we had wool and gum we had these first five now six and seven should be herbario and harvesting magic but I got wool and gum back in here. Wait, that was the first one. Why is it on page two? Um, so something, something weird is happening, right? That that is not what we expect. So that's a bug. We're gonna get wool and gum on page one and page two. Like if I take this back to null and ask for the first five, wool and gum is here, and it was on page two here. That doesn't make any sense. So there is a bug this is not the behavior we experienced before activating this plugin and so uh, I have a snippet um, that fixes this so 
Let me grab that snippet. And here we go. Okay, so we have a snippet here. I'm going to walk you through this. And there we go. Okay, so what, what we're going to do, this snippet is going to uh, do some functionality to tweak the behavior of custom post type order plugin or the post type order plugin to work with WP GraphQL. So what's going to happen is this hooks into pre git post, which is in the WP query class, and it checks to see if uh, if we're inside a WP GraphQL request and if custom post type order is active. So you can put this in your code base in your theme or a custom plugin that you maintain. And what this will do is check if WP query is executing within a GraphQL request and custom post type order plugin is active, uh, continue, otherwise just stop now and do nothing. So now we carry on. This is going to remove a post order by filter from the custom post type order plugin. Uh, the way that filter hooks into WP query, it hooks in after WP GraphQL is hooked in. So WP GraphQL can't quite map the order by arguments to the SQL that is needed for cursors to work. So we just remove that altogether and we put the same functionality into this GraphQL post object connection query args filter. And so what that does is it, uh, it, it just sets it earlier. So it sets the order by the menu order uh, in a place that WP GraphQL can read from. So what, what we're doing, we're saying custom post type order plugin should no longer maintain the order by, uh, and instead this snippet should. So what's gonna happen is we are going to check if the input args on the connection have been set, and if they've been set to order by, let's move on, let's not do anything. Otherwise, let's set order by to uh, menu order, and if we're going forward, let's use ascending order. If we're going backward pagination, let's use descending. So that's what this snippet does. So let's take a look at this in action now. With our custom post type order, we have our, we have our posts in order now. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna execute the same query uh, with no after value. And we should see wound gum, camouflage, notas, impression, and botanical. So we got the first five. So now, if we take that end cursor and go to the next page, we should see these last two. So let's do that. Take this end cursor here, place that here. And if this is working the way I believe it is, we should see the last two. And there we go. Herbario and Harvesting Magic. So now, now I should be able to go reorder those however I want, and we should get the results that we expect. So. Let me go to posts and let's reorder these again. Let's put um, harvesting magic at the top, maybe botanical after wooling gum. And let's save that. And if we go look at all our posts, we should have harvesting magic, wooling gum. And if we execute this, just asking for the first five again, harvesting magic, wooling gum, botanical, camouflage, and notas, right? And if we take this end cursor one more time, put it in, here and execute we should get the last two let me make sure this is filtered properly we had it filtered by this category so yeah we got these first ones and then the last two impression and herbario great so let's do backward pagination as well just to make sure that's working so we'll have uh, null value for first and after and since we're gonna go backwards we're gonna say last so we're gonna ask for the last five. And so this is the list we're looking at. So the last five is actually gonna be one, two, three, four, five. It's the last of the list. So we should have a list of botanical all the way through herbario. So if I execute this, it should be the last five, which is these five. So botanical, camouflage, notas, impression, and herbario. Those are the last five, okay? And this time, we want to check has previous pages true. So that means that means we're down at the bottom of the list and there's a previous page or there's more data above the list or behind the list or however you want to call it. And so instead of the end cursor, this time we take the start cursor and we place this in before. So we want, we took the last five items of this list. Now we want the last five 
before this point. So the last five, the bottom of the list before botanical are these two. So if we execute this query again, we should get wool and gum and harvesting magic. So wool and gum and harvesting magic. So forward and backward pagination are working with post type order plugin uh, active now. So I hope, uh, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Um, we have this snippet on uh, wpgraphql.com in our recipe section, so you can copy and paste it from there. And uh, hope to see you uh, successful using these plugins together. Thank you.